So this video is a follow-up to an earlier video where we talked about generating random numbers in Python. Um, basically, we worked with this random function that generates a random number between 0 and 1, and we turned it into a uniform random number generator that will return you any uh, random number between x1 and x2. Uh, whatever your inputs are that the min and max that you give. And these could be integers or these could be floating point numbers, but it returns any number along the segment of the real number line between those. Of course, sometimes you don't necessarily want a, a floating point number. Sometimes you just want a random integer. So usually when you tell people pick a number between 1 and 10, they respond with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. They don't respond with pi. Um, I usually do, but then it's not random because I chose pi. Um, the way you can do that is by using the int function that we learned about in an earlier video. And so today I just want to make a quick uh, random integer uh, generator. So we're going to do random integer. And we're going to use the same process that we used before. So again, we pick a, a random number between 0 and 1. We expand that range by multiplying by x2 minus x1. And then we... Uh, shift it over by an amount x1. So your minimum value that you'll get is x1, your maximum value that you'll get is x2. The difference being this time we're going to specify integers for all of these. So we're going to take integer x2, integer x1, and integer x1 over here. And as a reminder what the int function does is truncates the uh, variable that you're given. So it takes uh, so it'll take 3.14159 blah 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 and truncate it down to 3. Um, so this is just specifying that we're working with integers as our inputs, uh, even if the user gives us a floating point number as an input. And then we want to return an integer, so we're going to place an int around this whole thing. So not only are our inputs going to be uh, uh, cleansed to be integers, but we're also making sure we return and integer. Now the uniform function still works. This is just giving us a random integer between a range. So if I say print random integer between uh, let's say 0 and 10. Actually let's put that down at the bottom so I can tell where it is. <laughs> there we go. And we'll hit control 2. So our last line should be a random integer between 0 and 10. There's a 3, control 2, there's an 8, control 2, there's a 7, control 2, there's a 3 again, control 2. It seems to be working. There's a 9, control 2, there's a 7. Cool, so you've got a random integer generator there. And again, this will even work if your user forgets that they're working with integers and puts in a 10.5. It still truncates everything down to an integer. So there's 8. Uh, I can even make this a negative, a, oops, negative a half. Control two, there you go, ooh, two fours. Cool, so you're rolling uh, two, uh, you're rolling two D10s against the wall, or a D100, yeah, that's so, so one way you can get uh, a random number between zero and 100 is to roll the tens place and roll the ones place, that's a pretty cool trick. So anyway, I hope that's helpful to you, thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time, bye-bye.